Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to optoelectronics devices and systems and about the modulation of light in optoelectronics communication system. So we have uh, discussed about the external method of modulation of light and so far we have covered the bifringence method or the double refraction method the electro optic method so in this video we are going to discuss about the magneto optic modulation method so we all know that uh, light is the important carrier component in optoelectronics communication system from the sender to the receiver and information is transmitted from source to destination through modulation of some of the parameters associated with light. It can either be the intensity or the amplitude, the frequency, phase. Another thing which can be modulated, which can be changed and uh, is important is the polarization status okay so for that we know that the electric and magnetic field vectors of light wave because it is an electromagnetic wave they are in mutually perpendicular directions okay randomly oriented and when we restrict them to one particular plane especially the electric field vectors okay because every electrical phenomena in electro optic uh, in optical communication systems or opto electronic communication systems it is because of this electric field vectors so when you hear the term light vector it essentially means the electric field vector not the magnetic field vector because every electrical phenomena it happens because of this component so when we restrict them to particular direction to particular planes we get two such planes plane of vibration and plane of polarization the plane of vibration is one in which all the electric vectors electric field vectors are confined are restricted and plane of polarization is one in which all the magnetic field vectors are confined so the plane of polarization has no electric vectors the plane of vibration has no magnetic field vectors both the planes are perpendicular with respect to each other which is natural uh, because electric and magnetic field vectors are in mutually perpendicular directions so one way of modulating light signal is tilting or changing the direction of this plane rotating it by a certain angle this is achieved in magneto optic modulation method okay this where because of the application of an external magnetic field the plane of polarization it gets rotated and hence the plane of vibration it also gets tilted or rotated by a certain angle and that is the modulating parameter okay so the magneto optic modulation is the presence of an external magnetic field it affects the optical properties of selective materials depending upon they use a certain constant here also it comes into play like in the electro optic modulation the uh, pockels and kerr constant linear and quadratic electro optic coefficients that came into play here another constant will come into play which is for magneto optic modulation or magneto optic coefficient so depending upon that suitable materials are used some commonly used materials are quartz crown glass flint glass zinc sulfide sodium chloride they are used so here as it is uh, the basic principle is that the setup it consists of a suitable uh, material which is uh, 
depending upon the magnetooptic coefficient constant it is placed in a magnetic field which is either produced by a permanent magnet or electromagnet then we have a light source which is usually a light emitting diode or laser and the light is first passed through a polarizer to get a plane polarized light because unpolarized light has electric and field vectors randomly oriented we want them in one direction so when it is passed through a polarizer we restrict the electric vectors either perpendicular to the plane or parallel to the plane whichever of the two it is good okay we just want the electric vectors in one plane in one direction not randomly oriented like this okay so we first pass it through a polarizer then that polarized light when it is passed through this uh, quartz crystal or any other uh, material out of these then because of the presence of the magnetic field the plane of polarization okay the plane of polarization it gets rotated by a certain angle in clockwise direction okay so here the plane of polarization it gets rotated by a certain angle in clockwise direction and that rotation the angle of rotation is given by this equation theta is equal to v b l where theta is the angle of rotation in clockwise direction of the plane of polarization v is the constant which is used for magneto optic modulation you can call it the magneto optic modulation constant that will be also correct but it is called as verdet constant v r d t constant b is the magnetic flux density which is parallel to the direction of propagation of light okay it is parallel to the direction of propagation of light and then we have l which is the length of the crystal material which is used in this setup okay so here if we try to understand this let's say initially the plane of polarization is like this like this let's say this is the plane of polarization but when the light it is passed through this polarized light is passed through this uh, crystal quartz crystal because of the application of the applied magnetic field it gets rotated by a certain angle and that angle is equal to theta and that theta is equal to vbl okay that's this plane gets rotated sorry it uh, here uh, it is rotated in anti clockwise direction that's why it's wrong by mistake i have done i have rotated it in anti clockwise direction no it is wrong it rotates in clockwise direction okay it rotates in clockwise direction so here it will be like this get this by angle theta like this so this plane of polarization this is the initial position okay plane of polarization initial and here when it is passed through this uh, material with application of magnetic field b it gets rotated by this angle theta in clockwise direction okay not in anti clockwise okay clockwise direction so it gets rotated that plane of polarization and consequently the plane of vibration is also rotated by the same angle because they are in mutually perpendicular direction okay so this is the whole concept of uh, magneto optic modulation so because of the uh, rotation or tilting of the plane of polarization the electric vectors they are also uh, rotated by the same angle and that gives us the uh, modulating parameter 
so the type of material which is uh, used here it depends upon the constant verdict constant okay so some commonly used materials and their verdict constants are given by this material and verdict constant b quartz it is 4 crown glass 6.4 flint glass 23.23 .23, zinc sulfide 82 sodium chloride 9.6 so here the rotation angle it depends upon three parameters first is the verdict constant second is the magnetic flux density and l is the length of the material so here three of these parameters are in our control we can use suitable materials as per uh, the stable or any other materials depending upon their verdict constant we can use uh, we can change the strength of the magnetic flux density b and we can change the length of the material and all these three parameters can be changed to bring about a suitable rotation angle as per our choice so these three parameters they come into play to change the rotation angle okay so this is the uh, basic concept of magneto optic modulation okay where the plane of polarization is rotated by a certain angle because of the applied magnetic field so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much